Hello Exiles, how are we doing? Mr. A2G back playing Saga of Survival, guys. Welcome to update 1.13, how are we going? Okay, a lot has happened once this update fully got implemented. I know a lot of guys got a little bit concerned with the initial update, soft release. Now we've got the full release, so everything is available, everything that the patch notes said indicated, plus more has been uh, popped into the game, so now we can actually start playing. So, a couple little things to note before we get off the bat here, guys. Um, so, a few things actually changed. So, let's jump into the system here. As you can see, a couple of the UI changes for the um, for the questing, the daily adventuring, questing building, all that sort of stuff has actually changed. And now we've got a little bit, you know, a little bit more um, missions that we can complete and little things like that. And we've got our different style of daily login systems. So you can actually now cycle through and see what type of um, rewards that you'll be getting in over the next three weeks. There's some interesting ones here as well. So these are the new limited time, um, uh, sorry, um, adventures that you'll be able to do. So these are time sensitive. So you guys got to make sure that you guys jump into it. Um, as soon as possible and um, yeah and complete those missions as well still got the smuggler and also now we've got the different bonuses now so the elite pass looks like it's already been activated i think this is um given to everyone as well so i think you pay for this as well for for the seven days or if you want to drop down um in my case eleven dollars australian I believe it would be just under 10 bucks US for this one here if you want to do a full 30 day with special rewards, valuable bonuses, all that sort of good stuff. Otherwise, yeah, that goes pretty much um, leaves it there for the special area for the um, adventurers and all that sort of stuff. Then you've got the little missions here that you can do. It sort of tells you with a little bit of a timer if you've got one active. Um, so I haven't got one yet, so just thought I'd bring that up. But that's not all. Obviously, we are in the Cursed Forest. We're going to get right into it. I've already cleared the top zone, so we're going to get into the second level. Now, they, they did say level, so plural for the Cursed Forest. So this may be a, um, a three-level zone now, which is amazing. First time that the, uh, the, the developers um, have actually made this for, um, you know, for any sort of zone in this game. So excited to see how that works, how that plans out and everything like that. But if you guys are new, if you guys haven't seen this before or any videos on my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Make sure you like the, uh, the video, guys. Comment down below. All right, I'm not going to go just in like that. We're going to suit up, as we say, and I'm going to use the, the rogue um, outfit, and I'm going to grab the sword. I think this is going to be more than enough, but we'll see how we go. They did say it's more powerful enemies down there. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll get out of one piece. We'll see how um, difficult they are. All right. So looks a little bit different to compared to the other, um, you know, zones and things like that. Ooh, whoa, hello. Giant ice. Oh my God. Look, look at you. Wow. Okay. So this is one of the... Um, one of the new elemental um, stone golems. So you can see his animation there was quite different. Drops a bit of uh, clay as well, which is always a good thing. Oh, there's another one. Oh my God. All right. So as you can see, he's um, a little bit on the aggressive side, but with a little bit of help there, oh, not bad. Seven clay. I'm going to grab some of these along the way as well. What? Because, you know, why not? I'm um, wanting to see some of the lava. Uh, lava golems, actually. That's uh, so far, it's all ice at this point. And, okay. I'm going to grab some of you. I'll grab some of you. And, oh, here comes a big boy. Oh my god, there's two of them. All right, if I can just get at least maybe one of them to come out and play. Don't want to, don't want to take on two of them at once, so, you know, I'm sure you guys can understand that as well. Okay, so, might just go ahead and heal up at this point. So, so far, ooh, hello. 
What are you? Shrine key. Required to unlock the shrine stone. Okay. I will take you. Thank you. And let's take you on. Okay. And we are down. Ooh, another one. I will take him. And I want to make sure that I've gone through everywhere as well. Uh, just so I don't leave anything unturned. And I want to show you guys as well. And, you know, I'm sure you guys have already seen this. You know, the, the update's been out for, I don't know, I think probably at least 12 hours, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just, I really, really wanted to um, get some game time a lot sooner. But, nah, you know, real life commitments. What, what can you do, guys? But hopefully now... You know you guys will see it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, of course. Now, also, while I'm down here as well, I thought I'd just quickly chime in real quickly. Let you guys know that Dark Legion needs uh, some new recruitment. Okay, I've got seven slots available. I did a big clean out and pretty much did this right across um, the space of about a week and a half. Just pulling out plays that weren't... Um, Either committed, I have a golem. Awesome. It's got a really interesting animation. Nice. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I've been removing players that haven't been active or who are only just making or not making enough experience per, um, per event. So I know that seems a little bit harsh, but I want my players to reap the rewards and I also want to do the same thing. We do definitely want to get to the next level when it comes to all of that as well. So that's basically why I've got seven slots open. Now, my requirements for you guys that I want to apply, I need you guys to be active. I need you guys to be committed, put, going over and above the norm, because um, I really need you guys, uh, your guys' help really essentially um, to get, uh, you know, first tier, if not second tier, uh, level items. Um, but that's basically it, guys. If you guys can, um, yeah, apply to Dark Legion, that'd be awesome. And we can, yeah, and we can go and have a great time. Chat's really active, everyone's friendly. And, you know, at least you guys will have a bit of, you know, a um, bit of rewards to go for your efforts. And that's what I want. But anyway, I'm going to leave that one aside. And we're just going to continue on. And we'll take out these guys on the fly. Man, I'm getting a decent amount of clay. Like, a decent amount of clay. Like, I, I, don't, I may not even have to go into the Rocky Spies anymore at this rate. Especially if I'm getting, you know, all this. Okay, got four of those little totem things. What are they? Shrine keys. Okay. Ooh, okay. So that's the um, that's the en that's the exit or entrance, if you will, to the next level. Now I think that might be the swamp um, area. So that's gonna be interesting to see as well and to see what that one's all about. But as soon as I clear out this area here, we'll go in, we'll take we'll take a bit of a peek ski. I just want to make sure that I haven't missed out on anything on my end here. And yeah, let's have a look. So far, these guys haven't been too crazy in terms of, you know, difficulty or anything like that. I mean, I've been pretty, pretty, pretty easy to get through. And we'll take you out. All right, I've actually filled up all the clay. That's that's hilarious. All my, all my slots for clay. Okay, let's just do that. Yeah, so you actually get a lot more than what you do in the Rocky Spies. You only get at least 40. Um, if not 45, maybe close to 50 if you're lucky, depending on what um, what the golems drop. But that, yeah, that's pretty cool. And we've also got the new auto feature as well. So we'll just quickly play around with that now. So as you can see in the past, oh, you know what? <laughs> Probably not the best time to do auto. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we won't do that one just yet. <laughs> Yeah, so with the new auto feature, you don't have to worry about eliminating enemies in the area before you can hit the auto button. You can basically just hit the auto button and eventually your exile will realize that there's someone that you need to attack as well. So he or she 
will um, go for it and start attacking accordingly. You just got to make sure you've got heals, everything else, weaponry, things like that. I believe it's actually a little bit more eccentric to that as well. You can actually, um, well, sorry, your exile will more or less um, rotate uh, weapons and and you start using food, even though if you're not, um, oops, I don't know why if they know that, but it does, that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so your exile will predominantly, you know, start using its own resources without you having to actually do anything about it. So you pretty much can just, you know, just sit it on the table and away you go. As long as you've got enough of everything, you guys will be fine. All right, got more of these little shrine keys. They're, they're gonna be used for something, 100%. So probably a good thing that I'm actually clearing out this area first. And I think that's probably gonna go ahead and take it. Inventory is full. And I'm just gonna offload that into here. Well, I've got 80 clay, that's awesome. And just by killing all these golems here, you know what, you just wanna go down here and farm. 100%. All right, let's get into the next zone. So this is the Dark Swamp, okay. Okay, so, just before I go any further, I can see that there's the times three curse points. So any hits that you take in this area, I believe you get you get um, uh, curse points hit back to you uh, times three. So that's going to be interesting to see. What is that? Mosquito hobbit. Oh, hotbed. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I can I hit it? Oh wow! Did you see the curse points jump up? It went from thirty to sixty. That's insane. All right, so I'm just going to equip that. Armor's doing pretty good, to be honest with you. Yeah, no complaints with the armor at the moment. I'm waiting for my first enemy. Who have I got here? Okay, so we've got a walker. That's not too bad. don't know what you'd be doing down this far. <laughs> anyway. Take you out quickly. I won't worry about the key. Who else have I got here? Another walker. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Dark Bone Breaker. Ooh, here we go. Ah, two. Oh, hang on. All right. Well, you know what? We're just going to, um, I'm just going to sit here. Take you guys out. So these guys are different. Check him out. Thank you very much. All right. Um... I'm going to go ahead and heal that. Okay, let's... What do you have? Nothing? Nothing really. You know what, I'm kind of glad that I brought some decent armor down with me. Because otherwise, I think I'd probably be in a little bit of trouble. Ooh, get out of my way. Okay, let's see. Who else is down here? Is that another walker? It's another walker. Okay. Okay. There's, there's a few of you guys down here. So they, they did say there was going to be more powerful enemies. So the Dark Bone Breakers is obviously one. Your elemental golems are, are another. You kind of should cross that. And we've got some standard Dark Undead. So nothing too crazy right, you know, right now. I'm sure I'm going to find something different or, you know, find someone that's going to sort of freak me out or anything, but, you know, unless if that's it, to be honest with you, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, let's go over here. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to avoid those mosquito things. I'm really not going to bother with them. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Hey, ooh, hello. Oh, the Undead Overlord. They finally put him into the game. That is so cool. Man, I saw this, like, last year. This was last year that I've seen this, that I showed you guys. It was based back in December. That there was just a concept. They finally implemented him into the game. That's amazing. That is so cool. Nice. All right. 
Wow, that's awesome. So as well, there should be elm down here too. So, I, <coughs> excuse me, I did bring a, um, a iron hatchet for myself and I will definitely find some elm, I hope, if that does come to fruition. Ooh, what's you? What are you? Oh, okay. So this is the shrine stone. So we're gonna pop our keys in here. Okay. What do we get? Oh, okay. More horse parts. You know what? I think that we probably rework this eventually, especially when we have like the uh, the peddler's wagon and things like that. Oh, there's another one. Um, yeah. Hopefully by then, if there's the peddler's wagon there, you know they'll use this area for, for us to find you know those type of items and things like that. But you know, whether or not they tr you know they'll try and change that later on, um, you know rework the mechanics so less drop rates for the keys because you know we just got a ton of keys just before. All right, Overlord. He's so cool. He's actually like one of the best looking uh, enemies that I've seen so far. He's got a decent amount of hit points on him as well. Yeah, it looks like he's got one of the most highest hit points there. Have you dropped anything interesting? No, how about you? We've got a couple more of those shrine keys. So there's got to be more around here. Ooh, okay. So that's got to be the elm trees. Okay, that's cool. There's more bone breakers. Man, I need more space in my inventory. I need a lot more inventory space. That this is this is a killer. I'm not too sure if there's any more of those shrine totems or anything like that. I'll have to check it out. And look, there's a few a few more of you guys. Okay. Ooh, there's actually a few. Okay, I wonder how much you guys drop. If you guys drop like one or two, I get it, but yeah, that's interesting. Okay, oop, hey, 600. Okay, so you've got 600 hit points. That's the most in the game. Okay. I mean, my, my exile, he's not doing too badly with this. I mean, I mean, really, realistically, the arm is what's, you know, keeping me alive, really. And there goes that. I just thought I'd bring that here just in case, you know, like, yeah, um, just thinking, you know, if I need it, I've got it. Let's just go ahead and heal up and fix that up there. Oops. Oh, there's that one. Okay. So let's just drop some of these guys into here. All right. I mean, you know what? I think they're probably now at that point where you know, for exiles to do this, um, you know, uh, run this zone, I should say. And now that, you know, the horse has been out for so long, it looks like they're just giving us, you know, the option to you know, get the drops and you know, we don't have to sort of, you know, uh, wait for so long to actually get, you know, our, ho our horses. That's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section there. Okay, so I want to take that anyway. So I've got two of those. I'm not going to invest it in the third one yet because I don't know if I'm going to get back to them. But let's get some of this uh, elm tree. What do you drop? Okay. Four. Seriously? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we're getting four elm log per tree. Now we're gonna work out how many trees are in the zone. So that's eight. Is there any more around here? I don't think so. Let me just go around this way. Okay. There's another one here. And I think there's one just behind me as well. Oh man, if you get like a full stack of elm. So a full, you know, 20 pieces per, per zone. I mean, obviously we were complaining about it for so long as, you know, really that we were just crying out for Elm. Now that we've got it out, um, how much do we get? We've got 16. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. 
Yeah, absolutely, that's it. Okay. Awesome. So you get 16 pieces... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. You get 16 pieces of elm per zone. You know what? That, that bottleneck that I spoke about a little while back, you know, because... Oh, no, there's more. There's more. Okay, okay, okay. So you actually get a full stack. You get a full 20. Okay, come on. Cut you down. Yeah, that's it. You get 20. Wow. All right. So you get a full stack per zone. That, so now there's really no bottleneck. No bottleneck whatsoever. So we can go ahead and upgrade workstations um, to the higher level and gain a lot more EXP, increase our level as well and completely progress further into the game. So if they're doing something like that now and they're really, you know, they've opened up that little congestion patch, there's got to be more that's coming in future updates that we obviously don't know about just yet, but also, you know, a lot more, um, you know, adventure that we can take you know, in the game. Oh, devs, if you're watching this, um, yeah, hats off to you guys. You, you guys have done an amazing job with this update so far, and I haven't even gotten to the dungeon yet. Well done. Um, if this takes, you know, another month for another update of this size and of this quality, you know what? Take your time, guys. Take your time. You guys have done extremely well with this update. Now, I've already gone through part of the dungeon as well. And from here, I did do this a little bit beforehand just so I can get to um, the downstairs a little bit quicker. So I thought I'd just do that anyway. And I was kind of disappointed that this didn't become a thing. So I was really like, you know, <laughs> I was a bit sad, but. It doesn't mean that, that that this area here is never going to be used for anything else, so don't get me wrong, that might might be the thing. But yeah, there's a little hatchet there, so we're going to be able to go down stairs. Whoops. No, oh, well, I kind of wanted to open that up first, but that's okay. Anyway, we'll digress. We'll jump into here. So this is the lava zone, the lava dungeon, I should say. So I would suspect that we're going to get nothing but lava golems everywhere. Um, hopefully the spider queens around here as well because that was also mentioned the also the orcs as well So I don't know where they're at um, So that's kind of annoying, but we'll you know, we'll work it out So as you can see here, we've got the times two um, thirst as well. Oops. 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 Oops And let's just switch over to this Just take these guys out bit of OP action here uh, let's just do that. Ooh, more totem. Uh, yeah, so the times two thirst. So every time that you hit an enemy, your thirst is going to drain um, at twice the rate. So you definitely want to keep some water with you at all times. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? I'll take that. Thank you very much. And what's over here? Yeah, so I, I wouldn't think there would be anything more than just lava golems in this zone, but I wouldn't wouldn't sort of, you know, rule it out if there was any other enemies around here as well. Tell you what, the rogue outfit is working so good for me right now. You know what, I don't need that. I want to take that with me. I'll probably end up going back to get the, the rest of the, um, uh, you know, that little shrine area. So I'll probably go ahead and do that as well. No, 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 no. I want to see what's in here. Now, I wonder if I, if I do this, will it stop? It does. Okay, so they haven't actually implemented that either yet. So, okay. I just wanted to see if there was anything like that that had changed or anything like that. But otherwise, yeah. Okay, so what do we get out of this one? Nice. Definitely wanted that. Uh, just all the standard bits and pieces here. All right, that looks like it's going to be an exit for us, so we're definitely not going to go ahead and exit just yet. Still wanting to find more stuff. Ooh, fire core. Hello. Ooh, ooh. I don't. Want, no, you know what? I'll take you because I don't need that. Yep. That's all good. <laughs> 
take you guys out. And what if you drop nothing interesting yet? Oops, we missed. Okay, there we go. Love the critical hits with these things. I'm gonna have to come back here and actually farm the rest to be honest with you. Ooh, I've still got some more inventory slots. I'll probably just use them for that for now. Pick up all this clay because why not? The clay is amazing. I mean, I've got so much clay now. Clay bars, I'm going to be manufacturing the hell out of that. Okay, and what have we got here? Alright, let's take you guys. Let's take you. So it looks like there's some anthracite down here, some ore, iron ore, I should say. Oops. And we'll see what this is in the main chest. Hopefully something decent, no doubt, but otherwise we'll, you know, suss it out. Alright. Not too shabby. You don't really get those two in, um, you know, in one sort of sitting. I'll probably leave it there for the moment because I will, I'm going to have to come back. I, there's, there's no other way around it, guys. I need to come back because I do not have any more inventory space at all. I just want to see if there was anything else down here. Um, okay. Well, that's, is that it? That's it. Okay. It's just like a little open area, a whole bunch of golems. So this is sort of like more of a farming area, to be honest with you. I'll tell you what, I, I probably think that they might do something a little bit more to this zone here. Don't get me wrong, it, it's it's nice to have, um, but I don't see much of anything else that, you know, that will sort of, you know, urge us to come down here. Unless if we're, if we're farming, if we're needing, you know, clay, if we're needing those little uh, shrine keys or anything like that. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. All right, well... I think we're going to go ahead and leave it for today. This is a full overview of patch 113 and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Let me, do, let me know down in the comment section what you thought about this. Um, hit the like button guys, make sure you do like it. Um, devs, well done, fantastic job. Um, also guys, just finally before I sign off on this one here, uh, make sure that you subscribe to, oh sorry, uh, join Dark Legion, I need some active players um, if you can do that for me that'd be awesome otherwise uh, that's it take it easy and I'll catch you next time